So, a couple days ago, I went to Hui Hin's concert in Brooklyn Paramount. Solid time. Just figured I'd share the adventure. Nothing crazy, just went in. There was a sale on Live Nation for this ticket to be 25 bucks, which was cheaper than the merch I bought. Crazy. But it was a good time. I enjoyed it. Had an okay view, but let's talk to these details. So, it was at Brooklyn Paramount, across the street from Junior's hyper overrated diner. Don't go. There's like a million and a half diners in New York. Don't go to Junior's, just don't. I'm never getting sponsored by them. Brooklyn Paramount, not the biggest place, but fit everyone there. It wasn't cramped, pretty spacious. Honestly, maybe too fancy. It was really nice. The interior got some gold trimmings, got like these fountain things going on. It was really nice. Most important is the stage. Stage was good, more than enough space for Huyen and her backup dancers. And that's very important, also very good. Now, it's important to acknowledge, right? I love many groups. I have favorites. We cannot ignore the fact that Mamamoo probably at least top five vocals, top three in all of K-pop ever, ever. Their vocals, crazy, absolutely crazy. We even had singing only songs, but also had some dance songs. Those are really good. Her dance was fluid, backup dancers matched. That was really, really good. And of course, vocals were crazy. All live, all really, really good. Like, it's, it's one thing to hear their songs in the lives on YouTube, but it's a not whole other experience to hear their live in person. I probably enjoyed this concert more than I expected to. I kind of just went in like, I don't know all her music, but she has some good songs that I really like and we'll have fun with it. There are some I didn't know initially, but liked. And there were also some that I was like, eh, about them. But hearing them live makes them so much better. I like most of her big title tracks, like We In The Mood, Easy. There's one more, there's one more. I'm forgetting them. Regardless. I enjoyed her whole set. I think her entire set was a really, really good. Outfits were dope. She had like a really pretty outfit, a more sexy outfit, and then the merch promotion outfit, which I'll talk about merch now. Oh man. Like they weren't the worst prices, but everything hurts. I bought the cheapest item there, which was this hat. Now, not no fault of hers. Solid hat, the hoodie in the mood in the front, beyond on the back. The stitching could have been better. Sizing's kind of small. I also got a big ass head, but regardless, it could have been better. Um, do I like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the worst. Was 30 bucks, 30 bucks for an okay hat. It's so whatever. I did want photo cards if she had any, but she didn't also, okay. I know her VIP stuff, super solid. I just missed it. If you went, let me know in the comment section, especially if you did VIP. Honestly, if you went at all, because I wasn't super close, but I got some okay, I got an okay view, okay shots. So I'm happy with it. But yeah, um, that's gonna be it. This isn't, not going too in depth. I think, honestly, I just really hit all the points I wanted to hit and I'm not gonna drag these out. Um. Next concert is Ardu? No, Itzy, Itzy. I'm going to DC to see Itzy. I'm pretty close. That'll be dope. But yeah, that's gonna be for me. Till next time.
This was really short. I got y'all.